there's always this thing that it's mostly nothing but trouble. In this case, I say otherwise. I am Mega Man NG and I welcome you to another Rise of the TMNT episode review. Today we're going to be talking about episode 15B, Nothing But Truffle. I'll provide a summary as well as some of the main points. There really isn't much because this episode does feel a bit familiar and I'll explain why. Let us begin. Mikey and Todd are out in the wild watching over meat sweats. What for? Well, Mikey is a big fan of him. And that's before he became a mutant. But upon seeing that he's using a mystic truffle, this has him wanting to find it and try it out. The plan goes wrong, and Todd ends up getting caught in the act. This causes an unfortunate yet unseen transformation in Meat Sweats, to the point where both Mikey and Meat become BFFs. What can possibly go wrong? Yeah, that's pretty much the whole gist of this episode. Since last week's episode was centered on Donatello, this week is on Michelangelo. The episode's plot is pretty simple. Simple and straight. Mikey's trying to get a mystic truffle with the help of Todd, but due to an accident in which Meat Sweats pretty much absorbs some of the mutant DNA, this allows Meat Sweats to become a bit too nice, to the point where they become BFFs. In a way... This episode has some similarities to a 2012 TMNT episode that I reviewed. Episode 4, New Friend, Old Enemy. There are a few differences, and one of the differences is that whereas the guy in question in the 2012 series, who looked like Chuck Norris, was actually working for the Shredder, this one, however, well, Meat Sweats was pretty much, well, still bad because the effects that affected him were only temporary. Whereas on the other side, he was human before he would end up turning into Dog Pound, and then Razar. And that's a subject for another day, mostly, on that. But either way, the episode has some similarities. In fact, the plot is very similar. Meat Sweats becomes a nice guy due to absorbing Todd's kindness. And yes, Meat Sweats, there's a reason why Meat Sweats has a glove on him. Because that glove, when taken off, it pretty much lets Meat Sweats absorb anything. Anything that has like mutant DNA, he would absorb it and gain its effects. In the case of Todd, it's kindness, though it's only temporary. Because we eventually learn that he's still a scumbag mutant. And the only reason why he used Mikey was to get his hands on the magic truffles. Special magic truffles that appear on a mysterious tree during a full moon. And believe it or not, you want to know what the highlight of the episode? Todd himself. And this happens later on in the end, where Todd ends up saving Mikey from the wear tree. Though, truth be told, it's both Mikey and Todd who end up beating him down. Surprisingly, none of the other turtles make their appearance in this episode. So similar to episode 4 that I reviewed months back, this one is actually pretty interesting because we actually get to see Mikey on his own with a friend helping out. That's nice. We also do get the first appearance of the Wear Tree, a mystical tree voiced by Nolan North, aka Deadpool. And we want to know what's even scarier. It also doesn't help that when Meat Sweats later on absorbs the Wear Tree and fuses with it, oh boy, he becomes more dangerous. Extremely dangerous. I'd say that as an understatement because my oh my, that was just bad. But hey, Todd saving Mikey and being able to recover the truffle to me was the highlight. Though the BFF moment between Mikey and Meat Sweats was a bit weird. But I believe it's due to the fact that Meat Sweats absorbed the niceness from Todd which came up from it. But you also can't deny that even the bad guys have their off days. And when you notice Meat Sweats early in the episode trying to make food and whatnot, it shows that, yeah, even bad guys need a break. I'm not one to complain, but I felt the episode was alright. It was alright. It was pretty simple at best. And it did have some similarities to a 2012 episode. But overall, I found it to be rather okay. I gave it an 8. The episode gets an 8 out of 10. The episode was fun. It does have some action but mostly it centers on Michelangelo because, yeah, we learned that he is a fan of Meat Sweats and that's before he became a mutant, but he became BFFs with him and then it pretty much went downhill since, yeah, Meat Sweats is still a bad guy. Whereas in the 2012 series, he, the guy in question 
ended up becoming working for the Shredder. And we all know how that went, right? If you want to know, watch my TMNT reviews and you'll know how the guy ended up turning into Dog Pound and then evolved even further into becoming Razar. And then we never saw him again, probably after the end of the fourth season. Mm-hmm. That happened in Requiem. Why do you think I ended up reviewing the 2012 show after I completed everything? So anyway, yeah, it's not much, but I'm checking to see if we're getting any new episodes. The good news is that we are actually getting a new episode, I believe, on the 30th of March. But I'm wondering about the 23rd as well, so... I'll let you guys know on the community tab. What we do know is that the next new episode that's coming up is Portal Jacked. That's episode 17A. Though, hopefully this means I can finally get a break. I hope you guys have been enjoying these reviews because I love doing them. I really do. And ever since I started doing it, I don't regret it. Look forward to more from me, hopefully. That is it for this Roger the TMNT review. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. If you've seen the episode, tell me what you think. I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. It all helps to my benefit. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. See you, hopefully, when we get a new episode coming. Cowabunga!